Thanks so much for joining us. Kelsey is off this weekend. In his first public comment since the disbarment and resignation of former Durham District Attorney Mike Nifong, Duke University President Richard Broadhead apologized to the Duke lacrosse players and their families. WREL's Bo Minnick live in the newsroom with more on this story. Bo. And Ken Broadhead says the university failed to reach out to the players and their families in their time of what he called extraordinary peril. He says he relied on the criminal justice system and he admits he knows now that can have serious limits. President Broadhead. Duke University President Richard Broadhead says there are many lessons that need to be learned from the Thank lacrosse you, case. Thank Speaking at a law school there. ethics discussion, he apologized to the three accused players and their families for how the university handled the situation. We did not get it right, causing the families to feel abandoned when they were most in need of support. This was a mistake. I take responsibility for it. The three lacrosse team members were charged after an exotic dancer claimed she was raped at a team party back in March 2006. A year later, State Attorney General Roy Cooper declared the three innocent of all charges. These cases are over. Prior to that, though, the university canceled the lacrosse team's season. At the discussion, Broadhead warned of the dangers of jumping to conclusions. If there's one lesson the world should take from the Duke lacrosse case, it's the lesson of the danger of prejudgment and our need to defend against it at every turn. Broadhead also called Mike Nifong a rogue prosecutor on the loose. The difficulty, Broadhead said, in this type of case is balancing the independence of the legal system and the protection of individuals from false prosecution. Duke needed to be clear that it demanded fair treatment for its students. I took that completely for granted. Broadhead also announced plans for Duke to host a national conference of educators, lawyers, and student affairs leaders to discuss how best to handle a situation where students are charged with serious crimes. He says Duke administrators will also internally review their procedures to see what they can learn from the lacrosse case. Ken? Bo Minnick, live in the newsroom. The former accused players could file a civil rights lawsuit against the city of Durham if a settlement is not reached. Sources close to the case as attorneys are seeking a settlement of about $30 million. Duke has already settled with the three players' families, though details have not been disclosed. One behind